What's up, YouTube? Y'all doing good? You good? You good? I'm good. You good? Okay, good. All right, well, today I have something I like to call my slow cooker strawberry sauce because I cook it in a slow cooker. It cooks low and slow. It's real simple and easy. And you can use this for like um, uh, cheesecakes, ice cream, strawberry shortcakes, really any kind of, you know, thing that you use to put strawberry sauce on, you can use it for this. So it's real simple. All you do is just put everything in your slow cooker and that's it. You just let it go and you stir it and all that kind of other good stuff. So it's real simple. And I'm actually going to be using this for another recipe, which will be coming up next week. So be on the lookout for that. So enough of me talking. Let's go ahead. Let's get right on into the recipe. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your strawberries, you want to rinse those off really good. I'm using a pound of strawberries, which mine is kind of less than a pound because I ate a few of them. But anyway, you just want to wash them off real good and then you want to let them drain. After that, you want to remove the tops from your strawberries and then you want to slice them or dice them or however you want to cut them up. And then place those into the sleeve of your slow cooker. Next, you want to mix together your cornstarch and your water. Now, if you have lemon juice, you can actually add a little bit of lemon juice. Now, sprinkle your strawberries with sugar. And then you want to add a splash of vanilla extract. Don't forget that. Once you have everything in your crock pot, you want to stir it all together and then place it into your crock pot and cook it on low for about one and a half hours to two hours. And you want to make sure you stir it every 20 to 25 minutes. At the one and a half hour mark, check to see how thick it is. If it needs to go a little bit longer, let it go a little bit longer. If not, take it off the heat and let it cool down. Now, as it cools down, it's going to thicken up a little bit. Once your sauce is cooled off, you want to blend it up in your food processor, or you can just serve it how it is. Once you've blended your strawberries up, you might want to run it through a strainer in order to get rid of all those seeds. I said I wasn't going to strain it, and then I changed my mind after the video was done with. And so once that's done, you can slap it on some pound cake, some uh, funnel cake, a little bit of ice cream, strawberry shortcake, whatever you want to put it on. And like I said, I'll be using it in a recipe for next week. So don't forget to check that out. And remember, if you want the recipe, you can visit my blog. I have the link down in the description box. And remember, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and thank you to everybody who subscribed to my channel. I have, we had, we, not I, but we have reached over 300 subscribers. So I believe it was like 332 the last time I looked at it. So yeah, thank you to everybody who subscribed to me. I really do appreciate it. You know, just keep telling all your friends and all that kind of good stuff about it and i'm rambling on right now so anyway thank you leave a comment don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you on the next video and you know what do you want to see what the next video is gonna be do you want to see a little sneak peek all right here it is did you catch it did you catch it okay good so i'll see you on the next video where i'll be using this recipe so thanks again for watching and i'm sorry for rambling and i'll see you next time